consider the following formula. Which of the following statements is true for this formula? Like the other questions on this test, this question is asking you to analyze the relationship between these two variables within this function. However, unlike the other questions on this test so far, graphing is not a viable option for telling which of these statements are true and false. Instead, there's two different ways to get to the correct answer. One way, the fastest way, is if you realize or if you notice that these first two answer choices are talking about the difference between m and n. So you could start by taking that difference. Difference in math means to subtract, so to subtract m from n. When you do this, m is equal to n plus 5, so you can substitute n plus 5 in for m and then solve, now that we have one variable in the expression. We can rearrange the expression to have our like terms next to each other. n minus n would just give us 0 plus 5, which is 5. This result is a constant, meaning that the relationship within this difference is also constant, making b our correct answer. However, this is not the most intuitive way to approach this problem. What most people will end up doing is trying each of these answer choices to see which one is true and false by process of elimination. And the easiest way to do that is to try plugging in different variables, or excuse me, different values for our variables m and n. So let's try with this first statement, answer choice A. As n increases, the difference between n and m decreases. So let's try plugging in increasing numbers of n. We can start with, uh, we can start with just 1, 2, and 3. If we were to plug in 1 for n, we'd have m equals 1 plus 5. If we were to plug in 2, we would have m equals 2 plus 5. And then if we were to plug in 3, we would have m equals 3 plus 5. The results will be 6, 7, and 8. Then if we take the difference of m and n in our table here, we would have 6 minus 1, which would give us 5. Then we would have 7 minus 2 which would also give us 5, then 8 minus 3, which also gives us 5. So A is incorrect because as n is increasing, the difference is not also increasing, it is staying the exact same, or it is staying constant. So A can be eliminated. At that point, you could probably pick B as your correct answer, but let's say you didn't. Let's say you went on to C and D. C says the difference between M and 0 uh, this is just a lot of words to say the absolute value of m is always greater than the difference between n and 0. Again, absolute value of 0. So the difference, m's absolute value, is always greater than m's absolute value. Well, let's try some uh, numbers for that as well. If we were to take the absolute value of these three values of m, 6, 7, and 8, we would also get 6, 7, and 8. If we were to take the absolute value of these values of n, 1, 2, and 3, we would get 1, 2, and 3. Now, for these three variables, these absolute values of m are greater than the absolute values of n. But what if I were to plug in a negative number for n, like negative 6? We would have, let's put this up here, m equals negative 6 plus 5, which would give us m equals negative 1. Then the absolute value of m would be the absolute value of negative 1, which is equal to 1. And the absolute value of n would be the absolute value of negative 6, which is equal to positive 6. In this case, the absolute value of n is greater than the absolute value of m, right? 6 is a greater number than 1, which makes c incorrect. For answer choice d, the difference between n and 0, again, the absolute value of n, is always greater than the difference between m and 0, or the absolute value of m. In this case, we don't need to plug in any new numbers. We can look at the table we already have and see that that is incorrect, because the absolute value of n, 1 is not greater than 6, 2 is not greater than 7, 3 is not greater than 8. So d is also incorrect, making b our only correct answer.